The problem with most robot vacuum cleaners is either they're far too expensive or they're just a bit rubbish. There's not much of a middle ground. With powerful vacuuming performance, floor mopping, decent navigation, and a self-emptying bin, where it also doesn't cost a fortune. So when Eufy reached out with their new Clean XA Pro, which offers all of that for a pretty reasonable price, I thought, let's give it a go. Plus, I hate cleaning. I mean, who doesn't? So maybe it's time to get yourself a new little robot buddy for the house. So like the standard Eufy Clean X8, this Pro version also gets the clever twin turbine suction tech with two vacuum motors rather than usual one. Only now, Eufy have doubled the suction performance. We're looking at a combined 8,000 pascals of suction performance, which is the highest I've seen on any robot vacuum cleaner. This thing really sucks, and that's actually a good thing. And if you tell me this system offers 80% more airflow and 1.8 times better cleaning, making the Clean XA Pro a bit of a monster, particularly cleaning hair and especially pet hair out of carpet. Now, the problem with most rubber vacuum cleaners is that they're just not particularly good at picking up cat fur and hair. Power is only half the story. You also need a brush that doesn't get clogged up and tangled. So I've got the Eufy Clean XA Pro here. I've got some of the hair and the fur from Sylvie. I do love her, but she sheds all over the house. So let's do a little live test and see how this picks up. All this nasty fur and hair. That's so gross. <laughs> so this has an auto detangling roller brush and hopefully it'll make short work of all this hair and fur. <laughs> Good job, Yuffie. Look at that, completely gone. So we've got the auto detangling roller brush. Uh, we've got the two 4,000 Pascal twin turbine uh, suction motors. And also we've got a combination of a brush and a comb, which helps get everything out of carpet. So this combined does a pretty good job. And of course you've got to keep the value, the price in mind as well. Oh, you love me. <laughs> so if you've got one of these little creatures, she doesn't want to be on camera. Yuffie uh, have designed this for pet hair and hair. Uh, so definitely consider it if you've got a furry little thing that roams around your house, shedding all day. Setup is nice and easy. You just plug the self-emptying station in and then position the robot so these connectors touch so it will start charging. Eufy also include this little mat with sticky feet which keeps everything in the same place and also keeps any dampness from the mop off the carpet. Then open the app and follow the instructions to pair the Clean X8 Pro, give it a name and then update with any new firmware. From there it gives you a tour of the main functions and then sets the robots on a little tour of your floors to generate a map. And you can save multiple maps for different levels of your home. You can then choose the level of vacuum power you want and then select either whole floor cleaning or just individual rooms or zones to clean or avoid on the map. And so it's all pretty straightforward to use. You can edit your maps, you can schedule regular cleans, you can choose how often the base station empties, avoiding nighttime of course because it is a little bit loud. Plus you can add a child lock or even use manual control if you want to drive it around yourself, which is actually a lot of fun and you can quickly drive it to the spot you want cleaned. And then you can always press the top buttons here for spot clean, full clean, or just to send it home. Now this uses their AI mapping 2.0 technology uh, alongside an iPath laser navigation system, which uses LiDAR, which is built in here, and also infrared sensors to navigate accurately around your home. And then it intelligently works out the best route to cover your whole floor as quickly as possible. The extra sensors up front help it to avoid objects and getting stuck, although it's not flawless. I had one or two hiccups, but it moved around objects carefully and still got close enough for a proper clean. And it is still light years better than older robot cleaners I've used. Plus you can always add no-go zones in the app. And being LiDAR based, it uses these super accurate lasers to continually measure its distance from objects so then it can navigate easily around them. And it also means the X8 Pro can work in the dark, which is handy as I usually prefer overnight cleans for downstairs. And in my tests, when it did move over something, it usually works out there's an issue and then frees itself. Although I'd still avoid leaving charging cables and wires lying around, and I wouldn't be completely confident if you're worried about animal mess either. As for vacuuming, well, I can tell you that even though I do actually have a cleaner come into my house every two or three weeks, uh, this still picked up an awful lot of dust and rubbish and hair off the floor. And Yuffie reckon this will capture 97% of pet hair that's hidden in your carpet. Okay, so I've sent it around the studio. I've just stopped it before it did a full job, before it completed, and let's have a little look. You can see it's picked up all that nasty horribleness. I should definitely have been vacuuming the studio. And underneath, no tangles. 
Now, when I really embedded a lot of cat hair into my carpet, it did take a couple of passes on turbo mode, but max mode made a big difference. So if you do have a lot of animal hair in your house, then go with max. Although that said, its boost IQ mode did ramp up speeds automatically when it detected more dust and debris. Hard floors are no problem at all though, and even the mid setting picked up dust and hair. That said, I did kind of upset it by giving it tons of rice and oats and cereal to deal with in one go. It did a decent job, but it didn't all make it to the bin. The side brush does a good job of getting into the corners and knocking dust and dirt into the path of the roller brush, but like most robot vacuums I've used, sometimes on hard floors it will just flick the debris away. Although I can tell you that considering this has twin 4000 Pascal vacuum motors, it's actually a whole lot quieter than my old robot vacuum. And then when the UFI's completed its rounds or its bin is full, it'll come home and then through this little port, it'll be all the dust and rubbish it's picked up will be vacuumed into this guy. So if I press the home button, it will go home. There you go, so you've got another vacuum in here. It's pulling out all that dust and rubbish from the robot cleaner into the self-emptying bin. Charging. Job done. And then in here, we've got a two and a half litre little bin bag, which you if you say will last up to six weeks. And what I quite like is if you pull the tab out here for the bag, you can see it closes the hole for it. So all that dust and rubbish doesn't go everywhere. And this, as I say, should last you five, six weeks or so. Empty that, pop it back in, the robot's fully charged again, and away it will go. And of course you can schedule it through the app, so you don't really have to worry about any of this. The uh, suction noise, the vacuuming out of the robot into this is quite noisy, uh, so I'd avoid doing that at night, but it's a very slick system, and it just means you don't have to worry about emptying it every time it goes round. And if you open the app, you can even get it to clean out the brush roll, which should pull any debris or allergens left in around the brush. Now, obviously, we've had robot vacs for a good seven, eight years now or so. Nothing really new there. The technology's got better, the suction's got better. But what I do like, and we've seen in the last couple of years, is the addition of a mopping option with this. It vacuums and it mops. And I can safely say the Clean XA Pro did a good job here. There is no hiding even watermarks on these mirror tiles. You just clip on the mop attachment and fill up the water tank, and then you choose how much water you want to use. I found medium worked best for me, although you'll want more if you've got more stubborn dried on spills. It cleared up jam, no problem, and it removed grease and splash marks, though it's definitely worth washing the pad regularly or adding some floor cleaner solution for bigger jobs. Just bear in mind though, these aren't really designed to mop up big spills, it'll kind of overload the pad and then spread it around, and the mop pad doesn't rise when it detects carpet, so you may want to remove the damp mop pad unless you're just cleaning hard floors. Now to be fair, not everyone needs a robot vacuum slash mop in their home. It's still definitely a bit of a luxury. Although what I definitely appreciate is how much cheaper they've got over the last few years and also more advanced. And the fact that for around $600 or so, give or take, and I will leave file pricing and links in the description below, you get a powerful uh, suction vacuum, you get mopping and also the self-emptying cleaning system. This is a really nice all-in-one package and with that anti-tangle brush, the LiDAR, the infrared, the self-cleaning, the fact that you can mop and vacuum and these dual suction motors, it does everything you need. So this is now a permanent fixture in my household. I haven't come up with a name for it yet. My brother suggested Professor Xavier. Yeah, I know. That's my reaction as well. So if you do fancy checking out the new Eufy Clean X8 Pro, I will leave links in the description below. And if you've got any questions at all, drop a comment. Thanks again to Eufy for sending this out for me to play with and also sponsoring this video. And if you found this useful, then a cheeky like and subscribe would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat. Test finished. Heading home.